So anyways, back to what I was saying that if I accidentally like set things out for a box and I give them more than what I usually do, I just take that as the Holy Spirit guiding me that this box needs more than that one thing. So what I was talking about was these two little bracelets, but you know what, maybe he has like a best friend and he just wants to be matching. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna mess with what the Holy Spirit is telling me to do. I'm just gonna try and fit everything in here. Things like these delicates, I try and leave at the tops because if you put them at the bottom, then it might get broken. I realize that there's so many different odd-shaped things for this little boy. So here's the part where I'm gonna unpack because as you can see, I don't have much room left um, and I really wanna give him the squishy ball. So what I might do is take the rhino out and kind of reconfigure a few things so that way I can fit this baseball in it. The other thing like I just did, like this will go wider. Um, it has a little give room where I can again put those um, rubber bands around it so that way it doesn't have too much of a give room, but you don't really want to push it. <laughs> just because um, Operation Crystal Trial only, only wants like certain size things because when they put in shipping containers, I think like all the boxes fit in a certain size box for them to ship things so it just makes it easier for them to get the right amount of oh dang it what I'm doing here um to put the right amount of boxes in each shipping container so that way they can ship the most boxes out at once again don't quote me on this because I am not working for Operation Christmas Trout I am my own nonprofit. but over the years I think that's what I've learned <laughs> so we're trying to just reconfigure this so that way it um can try and fit more things in here for this little kid. This one is just being a little difficult. Again, like these odd shaped things, this is uh, this is my first time giving Play-Doh because I don't like doing these types of things because these are very oddly shaped and they're hard to stop. But we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work for this kid. This is not like a rush process. Again, sometimes I unpack and repack the same box a few different times just so that way I know I can get everything in. And then things like the washcloth, I had it folded up at first, but that didn't work. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna lay it flat like this on top. And let's see, excuse me, let's see if it snaps. It snaps, it's a little bulging over here. So I'm gonna put some rubber bands around it. And there's my two to four year old box. Poor boy. And then I'll put the label on top. I'll show you the labels in another video. God bless, guys. Please donate if you want to see me pack even more boxes.